Our traveling route is now completely defined and finally we can start to deal with the camera views. So let's pay attention to the first part of our ship cruise which goes from Barcelona to Palma de Mallorca and at Palma de Mallorca we had set an arrival time of 10 seconds that means the animation takes 10 seconds for the part from Barcelona to Palma and I would like to raise this up to let's say about 20 seconds so that we have a little bit more time to experiment with different camera views. Now let's go to the camera section and as first step we have to make sure that in the camera settings the camera control is set to automatic like here and camera points is set to only stop over points and with this settings Vasco da Gama creates us for every stop over point a camera point here. I've chosen the camera profile side glance but you can choose whatever you like. And now I switch the camera control from automatic to manually and now we have exactly the same camera points as before with one difference the automatic now is turned off and we can edit all those camera points individually. You remember that we are at the stopover point of Palma de Mallorca and this is the camera point this, that corresponds with this stopover point and since we are exactly at this stopover point this camera point is surrounded by a red border that indicates that we are at this concrete position. Now I can click here the camera point before that corresponds to the position of Barcelona and now the view is adjusted instantly and every camera point has a timestamp below it and this is the time point in the animation that corresponds to this position and the current position here is marked as well in this timeline and the time point is marked here on the right and now I can drag the timeline a little bit to the right and you can see now the surrounding red border has disappeared because I'm not anymore at the exact root point of Barcelona I have moved and now I will drag it a little bit further let's say to more or less here 42 seconds and now with this button I can add another camera point and this one is inserted between the camera point of Barcelona and the one of Palma de Mallorca just at the exact position of 42 seconds and one frame which corresponds to the position in the timeline and of course the new camera point is marked with the red border because we are at this exact position. And now let's change the camera view. I would like to zoom in to see our ship much closer. I will drag it a little bit to the right of the screen and now I will change the camera angle and with the right mouse button pressed I will turn the camera like this for example and dragging the ship a little bit closer like this for example and now I will use this button to set the new camera settings to save them. The preview images are recalculated and you can see here that the preview of these, this camera point has changed. Imagine the camera as just another object in the world of Vasco da Gama. Effectively we have created a new camera point at a position where in the real traveling route there is no stopover or supporting point so we can move the camera really elsewhere and it is just an independent object. Now I will move on a little bit more in the timeline. I will go to let's say more or less 47 seconds And now you can see that Vasco da Gama moves the camera position from the close-up view of this camera point 
further away because at the next camera point at 57 seconds we are again far away from the ship and this is the magic of Vasco da Gama when we change the camera settings of the different camera points Vasco da Gama creates all the movements of the camera from one camera point to the next one automatically. Now we are at 46 seconds and 23 frames. I will set another camera point at this position. And now let's change the view at this position again. I will zoom in too, but now I would like to position the camera on the other side of the ship. For example at this position and again I will set the camera settings. Now the new preview image is created. So now let's remember, here at this camera point at Barcelona we are far away from the ship. At the next camera point the camera zooms in on the, on the right side of the ship and then flying around the nose to the other side to further zoom out when we arrive at Palma de Mallorca. We can check this using the timeline. I will jump to the position at Barcelona and now I will drag slowly the timeline here and now we can see how the camera moves to the ship then flies around it to zoom out again. And let's have a look at the preview window and I will drag the timeline in the preview window to more or less the position at Barcelona like here for example and now using this button I will set a marker at this position. Now I do a fast forward just before we arrive at Palma, for example here. And now I use the second marker. And now if I use this playback button instead of the normal one, Vasco da Gama plays only the selected part between the two markers. Replaying only a part of the animation is very useful because if we like to check uh, this part of the animation we don't want to see the whole beginning over and over again. So now let's play back this section and we can observe how the camera flies into the ship then moves to the other side and goes away from it and this is quite impressive. So you can do this over and over again as you are adjusting step by step the camera's points. For example, if you think that you are at Barcelona too far away from the ship, no problem. We can zoom in directly a little bit more here and then save the camera settings, wait until the preview images are recreated go to the preview window, the markers are still set and just pressing the button and you can see the new animation. You have seen editing the camera views in Vasco da Gama is really very easy, brings you a lot of fun and you can create fantastic looking animations. And you have seen also that the camera is really an independent object and this brings to a few responsibilities. If for example you have created the camera points and maybe you have inserted additional camera points as here in this example and if you raise up the arrival time at one point of the route the object moves slower and therefore maybe that it doesn't correspond to the camera points anymore. This change propagates through the whole rest of the animation. So if you really have to make adjustments to the time schedules 
of the whole traveling route, then maybe the best decision is go back to the camera section, go to automatic mode. This will delete all existing camera points and recreates them based on the selected profile and then you switch back to manual camera mode again and start your work of the camera settings all over. This means that you have to do part of the work again but maybe you are faster than adjusting the individual camera points but that depends on the changes that you have made. So my advice for this type of projects is define your route completely with every time setting before you start working on the camera settings.